Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would say it is time for the Big Yak Monthly Cup edition number three of the month of August. So today is going to be very, very important. It's going to be the final chance for players to qualify for the very first monthly final, for the monthly final of the month of August, which is going to happen uh, yeah, next Monday, basically. So yeah, the final chance for players to earn points. And uh, yeah, basically it is do or die today because it's the final chance to qualify. Um, the qualifier itself today is going to work the same way as always. Um, we will be playing. Basically, before the stream even started today, I randomized 15 maps from Trackmania Exchange. I just clicked random map and whatever showed up there, I chose it for the cup. The way the tournament is going to work is that um, on each map, we kind of have, like the players going to have one warm up of around 40 seconds where they can uh, learn and take a first look at the map. And then on each map, we're going to play three rounds and uh, yeah, basically players can collect points in every single round there and hopefully then uh, do good and gain points. And we're going to play cup mode format, which means that uh, we're going to have a point limit, which is going to be 6,969 points. And once players reach the point limit, they're in finalist mode. And that means they need to win one more round in order to close out the match. So it's the same format as all of the other qualifiers. Um, Make sure to watch them as well if you haven't already. They are also on the same YouTube channel here. And uh, yeah, I would say, without further ado, I hope players are ready. It is punctual at, uh, we are punctually starting at 8 p.m. CEST. Mr. John C, start the dings. Good luck, have fun in the chat. Most important qualifier, basically, because it is the final chance. So let's see what is... Uh, yeah, what we are gonna play today, because I didn't test the maps, of course, I only saw screenshots, so even I don't really know what's coming up here. And uh, yeah, server is full, as always, 100 plus players are playing, even more on server 2 and server 3, we are of course spectating server 1. And let's see what the first uh, map of, the, yeah, of today is gonna be like. And the first map actually looks like a very proper one, we have City of Magenta World by TM Solos and that is actually that's actually a normal map usually the first map is always already very very yek <laughs> usually the first maps are always like you know 10 15 second long very dank but it looks like we have a one minute tech map here that is rare do we do we maybe have a lot of skill maps today I mean, I can tell you, we won't. <laughs> this is one of the only ones which are like normal maps. We're gonna have a warm-up of 40 seconds. People don't know this map, at least. I mean, some people maybe know the maps are public, of course. So maybe um, out of pure coincidence, some people played this. But in general, people don't. So they have 40 seconds to learn this map now. And then we're gonna play three rounds on this. So three rounds where people can collect points. Of course, the higher you place up in the scoreboard, the more points you will earn. And... Uh, yeah, gonna be interesting. Very long map here. The map is even longer than people have time to warm up on. So people cannot even discover the entire map. You see people were like here when the warm up ended, but there's even more stuff happening here. So it's gonna be interesting. People basically have to bl uh, drive the map uh, blindly. So I would say we're just gonna follow the first round on Captain Salmon. I have to sneeze. Ah, ah fucking hell man. My voice is in the mud, I have to sneeze, the mud is absolutely calling. Anyway, so Salmon is one of the players who is actually on the edge right now in terms of the scoreboard. So he, if he has a good match today, I have to sneeze again, fuck off. If Salmon has a good match today, uh, he might qualify for the monthly finals. So he is one of the players to look out for. Same goes for Marius. Marius is curr currently in 21st uh, place on the leaderboard. And the top 20 is going to qualify, so he's basically in the, uh, yeah, in the first red position, you could say. And Salmon actually has a very good first round here by the looks of it. He is leading the pack, currently has a 0.5 gap to Lars and also a few other players. So let's see if he is going to be able to finish it out. I also saw there was a risky finish, not sure if people are going to go for that, not sure how hard it is. So let's see. People at this point, they don't know this part of the map. They are driving it blindly. There is a risky finish. Simon is going for it. And Simon almost sniping Lars with it. Very nice attempt. Risky finish looks quite easy. But of course, when you haven't even seen it before, uh, it is very, very scary. Coach Amateras, who is playing today. First time I'm seeing him. Uh, yeah, of course, some of the players who are playing, for example, Lars, are already qualified. So uh, Lars is basically only playing for fun and to possibly deny some of... What the hell? 
what just happened there? Did Coach K jump against the pole? Yeah, that's not my coach. How is that my coach? He jumped against the pole. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> happens to the best of us though. Happens to the best of us. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Centrian. Let's see where he is. He's currently in the top, so looking good for him so far. And I think also Centrian, to be honest, is um, fighting for a spot in the monthly finals. So we have, um, we can take a quick look at the leaderboard um, after this round here. But there's definitely a lot of people who could still qualify and who could still drop out. Reginal doing a, yeah, a wheelie there, kind of. Very wicked stuff by him. Sadly, not uh, the smartest thing to do when you want to get points. <laughs> so yeah, very interesting move by him here. Uh, Centrian still doing well, almost forgetting about this turn here, getting a nice line though. He's currently in ninth place, that would definitely be some quite juicy points. So let's see if he's gonna make the risky finish, almost hitting the Dingsbums there. Marius going for the safe finish, obviously, I am not surprised about that, everybody else going for risky. And honestly, I think that was a very bad move by Marius, because I think he was like first place-ish. And he lost like, now he's only seventh, he definitely lost some positions there. But yeah, we have one more round here. Um, I'm quickly going to show you the leaderboard now. Zack, these are the current standings. We have six players who already qualified. Lars, Elkon, Teki, Scrappy, Samos and Skandir. And then we have a bunch of players who are also looking pretty good in points. For example, Fredwolf, Flonko, Paco, Pepper. But of course, further down here, we have people like Blef. We have people like Willux, Skydrew, Flo, Mario, Semifying. Uh, who could still qualify, but they could still, uh, you know not qualify. <laughs> so yeah, these are the uh, most important players to watch out for. Centrian had a crash in the store. I also saw a respawn by Marius, I think. So let's see uh, how Marainti is doing. Our fellow Dachi with a small touch here. So not uh, the greatest start for him, but still in a solid position. So let's see what he is gonna do. I'm quickly gonna turn on my fan, actually. Because it's getting quite hot in here. So even though my throat hurts a little bit, uh, yeah, I hope it's not gonna get worse until tomorrow. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> so Marantje still holding strong here, currently in 13th place, maybe even, yeah, sniping Jan here. Can he maybe overtake another player? Uh, does not look like it, no mistakes in the ending, and he will finish in 12th. Giuliano also finished, Shahai finished, Herc finished, okay, we have a lot of finishers. Let's see if Peace who also makes it. Is he gonna go for the risky? No, he's pulling a Marius. Perhaps a smart move to do. And yeah, that was map one, which took a very unusually long one minute plus. So probably the next map. I think we have like two or three more maps um, in the pool of 15 maps, which are like 45 seconds long-ish, and the rest is rather short. So map number two is called, uh, how's it called? Dirty by Alex Bros. And it looks like a rather proper map as well. We have some road in the start, then we have a dirt turn. We have a very long water part. That is interesting. Where you definitely want to have good speed in order to dodge as much as possible. Then we have a looping, which does not seem cuttable. And then a little bit of a full speed section, perhaps. People have to go on the left here. And then... Same thing in the ending again, and that looks actually not too easy. People need um, a lot of precision for that, so it's gonna be interesting. But once again, a long map here. Once again, a long map. So people didn't uh, manage to discover the entire thing. So let's see how many people will actually uh, figure out the ending when being there for the first time. Gonna be interesting. The thing is, my overlay at the top right is not updating. You guys cannot see it because it's behind my camera, but I cannot see the offer time of the map because of that which sucks a little bit, so I don't even know how long the map is, so it's gonna be a surprise for me as well. But anyway, we will see at the end of this round. So, will people know what to do? Oh, many people don't know! Many people did not see that you have to go to the side here. That was actually a very mean trap. A lot of respawners here. Same thing in the ending again. It's the two ITB players, but Lars is the better ITB players for uh, forever. Maybe, uh, you know, roster swap. Paco, content creator, Lars, the pro player. <laughs> but no, Lars with another round win. Very, of course, Lars is very good at reading maps. So, uh, yeah, good performance by him here. And we have a lot of people still respawning. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't tell me server crashed. Please don't tell me the server crashed. Okay, it only lagged. It only lagged. Very scary. Of course, there is 110 people on the server. Uh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> we tried our best to uh, 
make it as less like as less laggy as possible. The map itself should not be the issue because you know like kind of a normal map, nothing crazy here. So I hope it's gonna be better again. Spectating looked normal, also it looks rather normal-ish now, kinda. Holy moly, I think this I hope the server is not gonna crash. I really hope it won't. Salmon here with a small crash. We also have semi-fine playing, of course. And semi-fine is currently in 20 seconds, so he needs uh, a good match here. Otherwise, um, he will not be able to qualify. So let's see. Okay, now everybody knows what to do, of course, but people are still failing it because, as I said, uh, the road there is pretty narrow. You need good precision to make it. But it looks fine. Salmon almost flying off on the left here. Marius with so much speed. What the hell? People had so much speed there. But it seems like the server is doing better again. So the server just had a small oopsie uh, in the previous round. Should be fine again. I hope the players don't have lags. But it is looking good to me. So Lars already with a solid lead of 400 points. And uh, yeah, but of course Lars is already qualified. So people like Simon and Marius are way more interesting to look out for because they are on the edge. So let's see. Let's take a look at Marius maybe, the safe Meister. Let's see if he will survive this round. Would be important for him, of course. Oh, and I really need to... And my voice is so in the mud. I fucking hate it. Eh? I don't even know why. It's so unnecessary. Ah, oh, cheapers. So Marius having a lot of speed. And over jumping here and making the risky finish. Okay, a sixth place for Marius. Lars once again in first, the, uh, the man is absolutely cooking. What is this? It is called Exto, an Exto map. Yeah, Exto maps are uh, very known to be very XTD. So what is the idea here? You have a snake and you can jump out of the snake. What the hell? I think there is a huge shortcut here, no? What is that? It's actually a long Exto map. That is very interesting. We have red boost then, and then jump over here, and then there's the finishes. Okay, for an extra map, it's actually quite long. Very interesting. Oh, Lars! Ah, you can go backwards instantly to the booster. Okay, that is very smart. And then, Lars also not taking the wall, right? He's just insta going to the boosters, because the red boosts are giving so much speed, you don't need to carry any speed into them. Okay, I think Lars um, figured out the map very nicely. He is probably gonna win the round, to be honest. Seems like he has the smartest strats. Uh, maybe let's follow it in camera 7 to like see the difference in the round 1. We have a lot of people going backwards, but also a lot of people still going straight. Taking the entire snake here, interesting. And Chris going for the wall ride, but as you can see, Chris lost a lot of time with that. The wall ride is not the fastest. And it is actually not Lars winning the round. It is Purple instead winning by 5,000s. And yeah, in general, a very easy map to drive, but you need the brain power in order to figure out the fastest route within, yeah, basically 30 seconds of warm-up. So yeah, very interesting here. We have Blef struggling here a lot. And Blef is, of course, uh, yeah, Blef is also close on the leaderboard. I think he's currently in 17th or something like that. So Blef needs good points. Where is he overall right now? Only in 19th. That is not looking too good for him right now. Looking really good for Lars still. Marius also looking really good, um, extending his lead to Marainti here. Salmon also looking good. Uh, Pepe I think is safe already. Seamus also already qualified. So yeah, a lot of Dutchies playing actually. The Dutchie gang here. Marainti, Pepe and Seamus. Interesting. Semifying currently in 16th. Does Semifying know about the strat? He is going for a warbang here. Don't think that was intended. Is he going for the wall right? Yes, he is Semifying. That is not the best strat. Oh, people are losing so much with that. Damn, yeah, if you didn't figure that out, then, uh, yeah, look at that. Only 40 seconds. It's probably losing, like, 3 seconds or something. Which is a lot on a six uh, on a 16-second map, of course. So, yeah, Matt is uh, calling a little bit. So, let's see if Semifying will figure it out for his final round. Lars, in the meantime, once again, extending his lead. Almost 1,000 points in the lead right now, even though people are only at 3,000 overall. Yeah, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. 
Is it unprofessional to quickly leave for uh, 10 seconds and get myself a snack? No, it's not. I'm gonna spectate Lars, I'm gonna run away, get a snack, and then I'll be back. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Hello guys! And of course, Lars crashed in the one round. I spectate him. Absolutely classic. Fantastic. Oh my god, what is this? Uh, hello guys, my name is Hellsor and I built a very short map. Yeah, what is this? Okay, Lars GPS. We're going in while I'm eating because I'm just so hungry. Holy shit, eh. Aha, left, right, new slide. Freewheel. Uh... Wait. Oh, where's the finish? Huh? Uh. Huh? Wait, did anybody finish yet? This is like a lunatic map or trial map, kinda. I think you have to go slowly onto this pole. And then go here. But I don't think anybody finished. Uh huh. Oh, 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 oh! Nick Sobi! Nick Sobi! <laughs> and I think. Oh, Snappy! 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 He made it! <laughs> Best map so far. 10 out of 10 map, guys. Absolute banger. Yeah. Two finishers so far. Oh, Torben, Torben, Torben. No, and semi fighting neither. What is Giuliano doing? Wait. <gasps> und dir, und dir, und dir. Kuriso, no, Kuriso didn't make it. <laughs> 10 out of 10 map. Absolute banger. And Mareintje, 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 Mareintje. No! <laughs> Papier! Papier made it! I love this cup. Okay, we had seven finishes. And people figured out the map though. Torben with the win. And of course, maps like this can really shuffle the scoreboard around because, you know, like, um. My brain is not working! Um, on maps like this, we have like different kinds of players getting good positions. So, yeah, very interesting. <laughs> also, you know what's nice? The chocolate that I ate. <laughs> Huh? Huh? Where did La huh? What did Lars do? <laughs> Why did he finish with 10 million speed? Did he do an overwall or what? Next time I finish. <laughs> yeah, maybe minus 1.5k here. I'll see. I mean, this is a safe finish. I don't know how else you finish this. I honestly don't know. <laughs> with the engine nerf. At least not in rounds. Maybe if I could see everybody, what everybody's doing, but uh, on my own right now, I'm not sure. Yes. Okay. That's a finish. That is a finish. Okay. Eh? I'm so confused. Oh, Mr. Swee and Dennis! Mr. Swee! No, I think Mr. Swee didn't finish. But what I wanted to say, um, my throat hurts, but the chocolate that I ate... Like, was like nice for my throat. But yeah, very great map, guys. I hope you guys appreciate me for randomizing that fantastic piece of track here. That definitely put some people very high up in the scoreboard. Uh, they didn't really get a lot of points yet. So, um, yeah, very interesting. Very, very interesting. But in the ending, it still looks the exact same. Snappy definitely gained some positions. But the rest, Lars still in the lead. Pepper caught up a lot, though. But other than that, um, not a lot of change here. Anyway, the map here. I didn't even focus. Let's follow Captain Salmon. We have um, a pretty normal map, I would say. Do we have backsliders? Oh, we have some people backsliding and it seems to be faster, actually. Cool risky strat here. Salmon almost missing this turn. Then you can cut a lot over the grass here. Some people are doing it, some people aren't. Definitely is faster to do so. Then we have a jump into the ice quarter pipe. And then jumping out again, actually. Cool map. 
That's a really cool map and the finish. Okay, banger map. It's called J Glisse Chef. Ja, 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 Glisse, ja, Glisse Chef. Ja, ja, is it Ja or J? Ja, J, Ja, 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 French map mini cup six. So. <laughs> good map though, very good map. And the thing is like sometimes, you know, I don't know if you guys have the same, but I'm not a chocolate eater usually. Like I like chocolate, but I don't eat it very often. But sometimes when I eat chocolate, it's like the most insane, the most insane thing ever to have in your mouth. Like, it's like such a nice feeling. Like, oh, super nice. Guys, don't always think, don't, guys, are you all 14 years old? Oh, Salmon almost clipped. But looking good for him this round. And he wins the round, nice. Lars in second, Fredwolf also is on the edge, by the way, to follow. No, Fredwolf was safe already. Yeah, Fredwolf is most likely safe. Very nice. Okay, final round here. Let's follow uh, Dennis. Dennis the Menace. The fellow Dutchy, Dennis, a very nice guy. But being nice doesn't help you in a cup. So you need to be rude. Let's see if he's gonna be rude enough. By getting a good jump here, you can carry a lot of speed through this. Looking good, catching up some people, but clipping! And falling down, Dennis is... was a bit too nice this round. Dennis, you need to be rude. You need to be like, ah! <laughs> anyway, next map. Yeah, hello, what is this? Lazy River by Viru, a Viru map. Ain't no way. Okay, what is this? We're gonna take the last GPS again. We have dirt in water. And when you have this combination mixed, then you can basically do the dirt soups um, at any time. So it's like very dank in terms of physics. Actually a cool style and a cool map. Uh, you can see how people are dirt souping. It is not the exact same as with ice, but somewhat similar. Yeah, people are eating you. As you can see, you can gain a lot of speed here. We also have plastic walls. And everything is quite, um, like, narrow and, like, edgy. Edgy, is that the correct word? Sharp? You know what I mean. And then we also have a booster jump in the ending. Lars going for the high jump. Very interesting. You need to get the red boost and then jump and finish. Okay. All right. Interesting map. I would say um, we're going to take a look from Camp 7. Because I think that's going to be the smartest. Ah, the thing is though, okay, never mind, we have an issue. Um, when cars are in water, the name tags are not showing up for whatever reason. Don't ask me why. Uh, but whatever. So let's just follow uh, Captain Salmon. Salmon is uh, a player to look out for, so we're also spectating him a lot. And he is looking very juicy. Not only IRL, but also in this round here. Currently in third. Okay, okay. Having controlled lines. Does he know about the inside? What happened there? No, 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 Salmon! Nine! He had such a good round. He's, he, he, it looked like he was dead, but then he saved it, and then he was dead. Oh, unlucky. Only 23rd. Was looking pretty good, though. And Jan van Achtern starting the Aufholjagd. Starting to catch up on the others again with this first place here. Um, actually, let me quickly check out of interest. Where is Jan van Achtern on the leaderboard? Is he... Can he still qualify? I don't think he can, actually. Okay, Salmon is actually very far down, I just noticed. So, Salmon, uh, I didn't even speak about it yet, guys. Uh, but since we're getting closer to the ending of the cup, or, like, to the first person getting into finalist mode, um, the way this is gonna work, like, as I said, um, you guys can qualify to a monthly final, of course. Oh, no, Salmon. Full choke in the first turn. That is kinda yak. What happens? Let's follow Marius for the rest of the round. Um, you guys can basically qualify. And uh, the way it's gonna work is that the top three of each weekly qualifier are instantly qualified. So we already have six people who uh, qualified from qualifier one and two. And today we're gonna have um, another three technically possible. But of course, in case Lars, who is already qualified, um, gets into, into the top three, we will only have two insta qualified. So basically the top three are insta qualified, but if they are already insta qualified, then they are qualified, you know? And then, um, Besides the Insta-qualified people, we of course also have a scoreboard where you can get points, as you can see. And the way this works is that uh, the fourth place of each weekly qualifier will win 15,000 points, the fifth place will win 10,000 points, 
and the entire rest of the players will basically win the points or like earn the points towards the leaderboard which they had um, when the cup was finished. So let's say Wizzy um, has 3,400 points when the cup ends, then he wins 3,400 points towards the leaderboard. Um, there also is a little bit of a bonus when you are in finalist mode when the cup ends, but you didn't actually finish the finalist mode, uh, then you will win 7,500 points. That's basically how it works. Sounds a bit confusing maybe, but um, it is very easy. Well, as always, you can of course also um, read through the rules of this tournament in the rule book, or like in the on my Discord basically, where I have like a huge post with all of the tournament uh, rules uh, explained in depth. So you can also check out that of course. And uh, yes, Quentar. So basically, um, people who are Insta qualified can still play the remaining um, weekly qualifiers and therefore deny other people from Insta qualifying. So each month we're gonna have um, between three and nine Insta qualified people because technically it could be the same three people always getting top three or it could be three different ones all the time. How many people in finalist uh, in, fi in the final? It's gonna be 20. So there's gonna be yeah the three to nine Insta qualified and the rest is gonna be filled up with the people who are the highest in terms of points. So when you are on the website where you can see the standings, it's always the people here above the line, basically, top 20. Okay, so I hope you guys understood all of that. Um, we had a good round here by Lars again. Lars could get finalist on the next map already. Um, definitely an interesting map here. Also some different kind of people winning here. But it seems like we are going back to some more normal stuff again. And we have Mew. Mew. Type Meow in chat, guys. By Srax. All right, let's check out Mr. Pepper for the warm-up. We have a little bit of an AO8 section here. Maybe some tricks that you can do with keeping grip, keeping gears, I have no idea. Then we have a sausage where you can jump out. Oh, you wanna jump out to the very left, actually. Interesting. Pepe going for the respawn, smart idea. So let's see if he now understood it better. Uh, yep, can just, maybe he can even jump insta direct here. I don't know what's the best thing here. People will uh, have to figure that out themselves. And then we have a dirt jump where you... Oh my god, what is this jump? Okay, that's actually a horrible jump. Okay, that is actually way more dank than I thought. That is super, super bad. You can maybe even do a flip on the side. That's what I would have tried as a player. But no clue. I have no idea. Uh, let's check out Wizzy, the fellow wheel player. I think it's the first time he's playing today. So um, he can only qualify to the monthly final if he gets uh, top three. Wait, we have a huge cut in the start. Look at this. Insane cut in the start. You don't even need to drive the first half. Yeah, hello. Holy moly. And then you have to jump here. Wizzy going for a wicked flip. Holy shit, that was perfect. What the hell? So despite not seeing the cut, he still got 25th. Crazy. And of course, it's Lars with the first place. So actually, there is no checkpoint in the start. Yeah, obviously. Like, there is this one. But you can pick it up like this and then just jump off and go here and completely ignore this section here. That's of course also an interesting thing, like many maps in Trackmania have cuts because it's built by people who, you know, like just casually build something together and then the chance for a cut is of course quite high. So, Lars will get finalist now most likely. Let's check out Wolf for this round. Going here, not getting the very best cut, but uh, looking fine for him. It's of course going to be more about the ending. So let's see what strat he is going to opt for. Uh, he is going to slow down. We have a lot of people landing on the roof. The slowing down actually was quite smart, I would say. 23rd. Lars again in first. Why is Lars cooking so much, man? So it, currently, it really seems like Lars is going to take one of the insta-qualifying spots. So he could deny some of his opponents with that. So perhaps we will only have two people who will insta-qualify today. We will see. Wait, Lars knew this map from his battle versus Scrappy. Wait, so he just played this like a couple days ago or what? I mean, that's of course then uh, a nice advantage for him. He just played it, ain't no way. What are the odds? So he just had it like super, super recently. That is crazy actually. But I mean, of course, uh, when you are one of these players who plays a lot of the, you know, challenges like RMC, RMS, where uh, random maps are involved. Um, wait, Lars won. Oh. <laughs> Yek, GG, <laughs> didn't even notice. Hello guys, my name is Kanadi and I am a perfect tournament host. Yeah, GG Lars. Lars winning weekly qualifier number three. And uh, with that, it means that there's only gonna be two more insta qualifying slots available today. Holy moly.
So who's gonna take them? People are still a little bit away from finalists. Pepe and Marijn here could get it on the next map, but perhaps even need one more after that. So we will see. Never mind, wait. Marijn here is so far away still. Pepe has a huge lead as well, actually. Holy moly, 600 points ahead of um, Salmon and Marijn here. So what is the next map here? Um, mini. Mini 25. Let's see uh, what is the what's the plan here. We have a pipe, we have plastic, we have people jumping everywhere. And we have a freewheel section. Oh, what the hell? People need to get that reactor boost there. Oh, what? That seems very hard, actually. So, Pepe. Let's see. Ah, looks very clean for him. He will reach the reactor for sure. Yes, he will. Then going here very nicely. Giuliano currently ahead of him, but... Pepe maybe with the snipe, nope, had bad speed, but still a solid 6th place for him. Noise. Giuliano actually also has played every single edition so far, currently in 16th this edition. And in the leaderboard he is uh, in 9th place as well, so Giuliano is looking good to qualify as well. Oh, Pepe barely getting the boost this time, some people are so far ahead, holy moly. And suck and finish, okay. So, final round. Let's take a look at Sano, maybe. Currently sitting comfortably in 8th. Getting a good line here. Not the greatest speed, though, but he is making it. That's the most important thing. So let's see. Zack and okay. Good points by, uh, for Sano. 5th place, 395. And Pepe. Oh, no. That is actually really bad. Pepe would have only needed 200 points for finalists, but... He had a bad round, so he is actually not finalist yet. Okay, Pepper is now looking very good to get finalist. And he still has a lead of around 700 points, if I saw it correctly. So, should be looking good. But the next map here is, of course, going to be important. Because if it's a map that um, Pepper cannot win on, then he will, of course, not close out finalist. So, let's see. What is it going to be? The game lets us wait for quite long. But if the game tells me to please wait, then of course I will please wait. There it is. What is it gonna be? Perhaps a very important map here. It is going to be... What is this? Uh, is that a full speed map? Kanchika type 1. Uh, let's check out Marius. Marius is... Um, yeah, uh, in desperate need of Insta qualifying would help him a lot because his very first qualifier was not very good in terms of points. So he could need some. So let's see. Okay, it's like a pla plastic map, roughly. So it's not very full speedish. It seems like the map is getting faster towards the ending again. So let's see. A lot of gears to watch out for as well. That was a very optimistic transition attempt by Marius. But still surviving. Then we have a big jump. What was those? Were those anti boosts or normal boosters? Ah, it's reactor. Okay, yeah, you definitely want that reactor. That's for sure. Then go into the middle, go into the left, and people barely even had time to check it out. We have a long left turn done, looping. Very, very confusing. Very, very confusing. Let's check out Mr. Pepper. The currently best player on the server, technically. So let's see how he's doing in the first round. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, Cheese Lover went for a cut. Interesting, I didn't see that. Oh, you can instantly go to the left there. You don't have to take the road. Smart strat by him. Pepe is looking solid. He, of course, only needs around 100 points uh, to get finalist. So he mainly wants to use this round to, like, learn the map in order to qualify next round. So let's see. So zack, zack, looping, tight exit. Oh my god, what is that? What the hell is this ending? We have a full jump here. And then the finish over here. Okay, Pepe in 30 seconds, but it is enough for finalist. Very important. Snappy in the meantime, getting second and winning 460 points. And with that, he is really close to finalist all of a sudden. Crazy. Marijn here also doing good. Uh, Simon and Marius not with the greatest points, though. It's a very interesting map. But with that, um, we can send a good luck to... Mr. Pepe, who could insta-qualify. Let's see, he knows where to go now, but will he be fast enough to win it? I have no idea. So, does he know about the cut? No, he does not. Okay. So there you go, people are coming from the left. They also have a better line for this here, so the cut, or like, risky route, whatever you want to call it, 
is like 0.5 faster, but Pertberg kept the gear. That was a very good move. And all of a sudden he is in third. Oh, going to this side here. I don't think that's a good call because he has a worse line here. And now he needs to catch up. He needs a banger of an ending if he wants to make it. He has a couple people ahead. He's having good speed, but others have more. Will he get a good jump? Yes, he will, but Pilev is going to overtake. Nick Sobi is going to overtake. It is not enough for Pepper. Pepper in eighth. But I see potential there. Maybe the next round is going to be enough. Pepper and Snappy are the ones to look out for. Let's maybe... Oh my god. Okay, Pepper full crashed already. And Snappy doesn't know about the cut. So I think uh, we won't see a finalist winning here unless Snappy has an absolute banger of an ending, but I don't think he will. Like, he is so far behind already. Pretty much exactly a second. He has 12 people ahead of him. I don't think he's gonna make it. But you never know. Ah, but won't happen. We have a uh, naive con... Oh, my god. Snappy with a good ending, though, but it's just not enough. Naive had a really good round there. 42.2. And where's Naive actually, in terms of points? Naive is an 18th. Okay, so the points for him are very important. He is still 1.5k points away from finalist now. But, um, still possible. Marantje is in finalist now. Salmon and Marius, not with the greatest points here, so they are not. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a banger map. Trackmania Nations C2. Look at this. We have a Nadeo map from Trackmania Nations. As the finalist decider. Anything, like everything will be decided in one quarter pipe jump. Yeah, that is great. The thing is, of course, um, it's a quarter pipe jump. It is one jump. And people need to win. But how much are they willing to risk it? Because if you risk it too much, you're gonna fail. So let's see. Let's check out Pepper. Oh, gets a low jump. Could be enough. Is it enough? No, it's not. It is. Who is it? It is. Machaintje winning by 1,000. In no way. Machaintje got it by 1 freaking thousandth. Okay, that is insane, actually. That is insane. It looked like Hagen was ahead, but he had less speed, apparently. Next round here. Pepper. <laughs> Let's see if he's gonna make it. We have one more Insta qualifying slot left. It's definitely not gonna be Pepper. It is Fredwolf. But Fredwolf was not. Finalist. Very, very interesting. Oh my god, Marius missing out on finalist mode by like 10 points or so. Simon is gonna go into finalist and we're gonna have one more round here. One more round. Will one of the finalists close it out or not? Sanuk, Salmon, Pepper and Snappy. Oh, uh, uh, let's see. Let's, let's take a look at Salmon. Who's gonna be it? Oh, Salmon with a nose dive sadly clipping and it's Captain Meow in first. Holy shit. Yeah, okay. Captain Meow with a 9.0. That is a crazy time, actually. Holy shit. That is very, very fast. Holy moly. Crazy. Captain Meow was not in finalist, though. So that means we go on to the next map. And the next map is going to be crazy. We, because we already have, I don't know, five or six finalists. And it's only going to be more. So let's see what's going to happen here. Holy moly. Another important map coming up. What is it going to be? Is it going to be short and yak? Or is it going to be long and nice? Let's see. No freaking way, it's a full speed map. Kanchika type fucking one. It is a full speed map, guys. Oh my god, and what is this start? What is the start? Okay, Kanchika. Kanchika type one. What is the start, guys? Look at this. We start off with a jump into a wall right here. And look, we have dang media tracker effects. Did you see that? The saturation of the map was changing. Holy moly. Okay. It is a Yak full speed map though, so everybody can drive it. I don't think it's gonna be that much about speed sliding. It's gonna be more about, yeah, not dying. <laughs> but of course, Kanchika knows what he's doing, and Kanchika is not finalist. Still quite a bit away actually, over 1000 points. But this could be the possibility to clutch for him. So let's see. Warm up is looking good. He is reading the map very nicely so far. We have a wall right here. Oh, that uh, was definitely not driven correctly. So you want to go high there and then dive low and then there's even more stuff coming up. Okay, holy shit. Guys, 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 guys. Kanchika could deny everybody here if he figures out the rest of the map as well. He decided to go press forward in the start. Not getting the best speed, but it is looking fine though. He will probably catch up to the rest. So let's see. Doing some small speed sliding here. It's a bit laggy spectating wise. Uh, so I'm sorry for that. Fredwolf currently in the lead. 
<laughs> so let's see Naiko coming in with a lot of speed. Okay, Naiko from France might win the round in the cup from Naiko from Dresden. Let's see, but Naiko is not finest, is he? No, he's not. Okay, so now the rest of the map. What is happening on the rest? Naiko is looking fast. There is Fredwolf. Oh, we have a very sharp left turn. Holy shit. And it seems like we have to finish there. Fredwolf? Fredwolf is gonna win it, actually. But Fredwolf is not finalist. He is gonna be finalist now, though. Holy moly. And Jan van Achten says that the entire map is in camera free, apparently. Yeah, hello. Amazing. Sounds like fun. Sounds like a Granadi map. <laughs> Ain't no way. Purple was 80 points away, but he only got 7 points in this round. <laughs> so Purple barely missing out. Eyes on Kanchika again. He could be the man to deny them all here. Ah, but like not getting good speed in the start though. This might actually hurt. Losing out on almost point four here. But let's see. Still looking good. Semifying also in the lead here. Looking good. Kanchika knows that going like this will give him more speed, so very smart full speed brain here. Oh, we have multiple finalists here. Salmon is finalist, Puppbear is finalist. And Kanchika is the only man to deny them. Kanchika needs to overtake if he still wants to insta-qualify. Going for a wall ride, going for the low line. He is ahead, but Puppbear has more speed. Now the third turn, Kanchika going very inside, but I think it is gonna be Salmon. I don't know. I think it's Salmon. I think Salmon has it. And it is Salmon closing it out. And that is actually very, very insane. Because when you look at the leaderboard, guys, Captain fucking Salmon only played one edition so far. And there he was in Div 2. So Salmon currently only had 6,000 points. So he could not have qualified in any way except by insta qualifying so salmon absolutely clutched it out here very sick move by him because i don't like he needed to win this round otherwise he would have not qualified holy moly eh. crazy so guys uh, of course um, we're still gonna play another two players here uh, fourth and fifth place will get a huge bonus in points for the leaderboard so e so even though it's not an insta qualify the huge bonus in points um could basically you know secure some people's positions especially marius for example who is currently in 21st um needs to fight for them so let's see what he's gonna do kanchika once again going for good speed here going for a good wall ride it is naiko in first right now naiko is not in finalist though kanchika isn't either so kanchika is just like you know nicely securing points and Kanchika always loses speed here. I don't know why though. Nice line by him here. Seems like Kanchika will finish in third. Jan is uh, also not finalist. So top three, all not finalists here. Sano, Fredrov and Snappy were, but they are not fast enough. And with that, we go on to another map and we're gonna have so many finalists. Giuliano getting into finalist. Purple. Don't tell me purple is missing finalist again. Ain't no way purple. What is purple doing? No way. Oh, Purple is missing it again, I think. Anyway, Jan is finalist. Naive is finalist. Dawnstar barely missing it. Naiko is finalist. Kanchika is finalist. Holy shit. We're gonna have so many finalists here. Jesus Christ. And what map is it? What map is it? What map is it? We're zooming out. It is looking like a normal map. Okay. We're gonna go on to warm up with Marius, who's also in finalist by now. So let's see. Some people are taking the ramp here. Would say the ramp is definitely slower. Then a jump to the left. Wanna have a clean landing? Can even reduce airtime here. Then we have a wall right. Perhaps we also have cuts. I have no idea, of course. Looks a bit sussy. Then what the hell is this? Aha, a wall right turnaround dingsbums where you can easily fly out. Scary. Mario's releasing here. Okay. Then we have a jump where you go straight where you need a lot of speed. Okay. And then we go straight. Oh, speed check here. Speed check. Alarm. And then another speed check and then finish jump. Okay, this is a good last map. This is a good last map. This is going to be exciting. So let's check out Jan. Come on. Let's freaking go. We have 10 plus finalists. Who's going to make it? Will we have a fourth place here in this round or will we not? Let's see. <gasps> oh, shortcut detected. Shortcut, shortcut, shortcut. Alarm, alarm, alarm. People have a brain. Oh, but they don't make it into the things. Ain't no way what is happening. Where, 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 who do I who do I have to spectate? 
Nixobi. Nixobi and Purple. Okay, let's just follow Naive. Oh no, Sano. Sano is in first. <gasps> Sano is in first. Sano is finalist. Does he know? Does Sano know? Jumping. Which finish is he gonna go for? He's going for the furthest mod. Is he having enough speed? <gasps> he barely made it. Holy shit. <laughs> he barely made it by a fucking nanometer. And only point one ahead of Purple. Purple almost sniped for the fourth place. But with that, it is Sano getting fourth place in this qualifier. And with that, winning 15,000 points for the leaderboard. And if you look at the leaderboard, 15,000 points is worth a lot here. 15,000 points is a lot. So yeah, with that, um, Sano might be safe. I don't know where he is on the leaderboard, um, but we will see the results later. Purple was second in the round before, so I'm gonna keep my eyes on him. He is technically now the fastest on the server. So let's see, does he know about the cut? Oh, he's not cutting. Okay, how much faster is the cut though? There they, are, there they are, but he's of course coming in with a lot more speeds. And look at this speed. Yeah, seems like the cut is not worth it. Purple is in first. Purple is in first, but Captain Meow is only 0.2 away. Captain Meow could perhaps snipe. Purple, he only needs the risky. Don't hit the tree and it is gonna be purple. Even though his internet died a little bit. He's making it, and with that, Purple is most likely also safe for the weekly qualifier. There you go. Very nice. GG to everybody who played. GG to the top five. Um, my mods will probably do the work now to get the, uh, at least I hope so, <laughs> to get the leaderboard updated. And then in yeah just a few minutes, we can check who actually qualified now and who didn't. But it was a lot of fun again, so shout out to all of you who joined. Shout out for all the people who watched and... Uh, yeah, let's just wait for the results now. We might have a huge problem on server 1. What is the problem? Pipe Planet crashed. Can't extract results. Ach du Kacke. Yeah, but that means uh, I cannot show you the results now, guys. That means that uh, we have to do it manually. And uh, yeah, Matt is just calling. Yeah, uh, guys, uh, yeah. I guess we're just gonna uh, do the updating manually. And um, as soon as we're done with it, we can share the result, I guess. Yeah, I will do a ping on the Discord as soon as we got the results. I will not do it on stream, of course. But I hope you enjoyed nonetheless. We'll be back next week. Thank you very much for watching. Tschüss mit us. Winke mit Inke. And bye-bye, guys.